All right, so I just want to give a little update real quick. I don't have the microphone on right now. Um, so basically what I did here is uh, <clears throat> this side, um, when I stand back and look down it, my, my lumber, my forms look like they had the least amount of, uh, you know, variation and that kind of stuff. When I look down the front of it, I don't know if you can see a little bit there, but the slab seems to just go in slightly. And I'm just, I'm guessing that's probably, uh, I don't know if maybe somebody stepped on the form or something or, or just, uh, cause generally the concrete should push it out a little bit. So it's, it's kind of weird. But one thing that I know though, is that my ends, okay. My ends where the, uh, the troughs are on both ends I know are, are square so <clears throat> what I did is just added a little stake to go up where I could continue this edge up above the concrete a little bit and did the same down there and then ran a string line down so that string would give me a point of reference um, it would actually give me a nice uh, square line to measure off of and so what I did was this basically here um, since this was my straightest uh, edge. This other one, now the inside of the trough on that other one was, this other one here is pretty straight too, um, but I just, uh, I went with this one over here because I felt like it looked a little better. And so my trough, I don't know if you can see it down there, the, the inside part down there, it curves in a little bit so I don't want to use the trough as a reference point for measuring where the building is going to be so once I have those I have that string line up basically what I did is I just pulled a measurement off of the inside of the form here over and I didn't pick any I just picked a number I mean the the, the first uh you know inch is basically 16 inches from the form in and I just uh, made a mark there and then I came down on this side from the form and pulled 16 in made a mark there and then basically make, made me a little hook down there to uh, hook the string line to and then ran the string line all the way down there and uh, or chalk line chalked it so what I did at that point was I went ahead and measured two inches off of my string line okay so that I would have a place actually on the concrete where I could use as a reference point um, because as you can see the string line goes outside the concrete slightly in some areas <clears throat> and then I so what I did you can use the 345 rule um, I'm not going to go too much into depth on what that is right here it's basically just a way that you can find you can make a uh, make sure you have a right angle, a right angle, you know, triangle to start with, and so that's basically the biggest thing I need. So what I did is I measured two inches off the string line here, inside, and you just you can do it as three, four, five, or multiples of three, four, five. So basically, what I did was six, eight, ten. So I pulled six inches from over there to here, or I'm sorry, six feet. And then over there, uh, from my mark, remember you got to go from here. So I pulled from the red line over six foot, and then from my two inch mark on the inside over eight foot. And then basically, when you do the cross measurement, if if that is a right triangle, right angle, then you should get ten foot. And as you can see, we're dead on. So this this tells me I can go ahead and chalk these two inch marks here all the way down and that will give me a good starting point um, and then basically basically from that point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just choose uh, maybe an inch an inch outside the slab on that side I'm not gonna measure from the outside of the form in I'm basically actually I'm just gonna pull from that red line over there and once I end up over here somewhere with an even number that's in far enough to make sure I'm not going to get any interference from the trough if it's if it's uh, 
if it happens to be a little wavy then I'll mark that and basically um, you know say if that was I don't know let's just say a hundred inches just for the sake of example so I'll pull the hundred inches there and then um, and then I'll go over here to this this side and pull a hundred in inches across and then I'll from the, the area that I pull I'll make a measurement from here to here so that I know to do the exact to make my mark in the exact same area over there and then basically that'll give me parallel lines and so what I'm going to do with those two lines once I have the other line uh, chalked in here is that will give me a measuring point to measure off of uh, you know from the inside of the the building to the line to figure out where I want it and it's it's not just going to be where I want it it's basically going to be whatever the distance between this line and the line I'm going to make over there um, subtracted from the actual uh, the actual building dimensions of what it's supposed to be from outside to outside you know and then I mean obviously I would measure from that point over there and you know whatever the thickness of the steel is or what but you know see what I'm saying so it's gonna be I'm gonna say if it was 100 inches across and the building was supposed to be you know 110 inches outside to outside then I'll know that you know I need to measure whatever it is five inches from the line to the to the building and I'm just using these numbers as an example but and then I would need to do the same over there and then I'll know that those walls are running parallel to each other and that they're square so hope that wasn't too confusing um, but uh, yeah that's what I'm doing with that